As you can see, my shelves are completely empty. That's because everything's packed and ready to go. I'm in the mood for adventure. But before I go, let me quickly part with some knowledge of how to film better adventure activity videos using your smartphone. <laughs> Adventure activities like mountain biking, zip lining, surfing, skateboarding, skiing, snowboarding, sailing, maybe kayaking. All of these are synonymous with one word, and that is action. 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 Let's break down the action for an adventure activity video with the story. The story with an adventure activity is actually very simple. 90% of your video is going to be about the activity that you're doing itself. It's a no-brainer, it's nothing you have to think about. But if you want to keep your audience really engaged, you need to add in that story element. So here's one idea that you can use that definitely um, I know enhances the story, and that is the context of why you're doing this at this stage of your life. We'll start off with one side. This is for people who don't do these type of things very often. Perhaps this is you stepping out of your shell, out of your comfort zone to do something that is unfamiliar for you. If you part with that knowledge, your viewers will be on the edge of their seat feeling nervous for you. This is exactly what we want. We want that sort of You want that feeling of um, them to share this journey or this excitement, this nervousness, whatever it is that you're feeling. And then also explain, you know, how did you get to this point? Are you, did you have a midlife crisis? Are you, did you just need a change? You know, whatever it is that you bring with to the table is what will make that story of why you're doing this adventure activity so much more exciting. If, however, you are somebody who does this regularly, then you have to get a little bit more creative with what you're doing. You need to bring why this time is worth filming, why this time is worth sharing. You know, just because I go surfing every weekend doesn't mean I go and film it every weekend because I'm not a surf vlogger. But if I'm going to go surf um, and do an adventure activity about it, it's going to be about there's going to be a story to it about who's coming with me. Maybe I want to collaborate and say, today I'm actually going surfing with somebody I've, I've always dreamed of going surfing with. Share your emotions. When it comes to the technical side of filming adventures, you're going to need to focus on two things, and that is your stability and your angle changing. This is because everything that we're doing is related to some form of action. If you only have one perspective of this action, it's going to be very boring very quickly. So if you want to attach your phone to things, you're going to need extra devices like uh, tripods, gorilla pods. Um, you can even get yourself, um, you know, these clamps that, that attach themselves to things. Anything that's made for a GoPro actually works for a smartphone too. So you can take the GoPro a tripod mount, a Joby one of these, a GoPro head strap with a GoPro uh, tripod mount, then you just get yourself a little bit of thread, you put that in there, there you go, phone on your head, right. You can use your phone the same way you would a GoPro. You can put your phone on anything that attaches to uh, whatever it is that you're using. So get yourself those GoPro surfboard mounts, uh, a suction mount for the windscreen if you're doing car racing and for mountain bikes you definitely need a clamp that can fit onto onto a bar um, you know go to your local camera shop and just ask them what adventure mounts they have for whatever sport it is that you want to capture regarding the stability side don't stress about it too much if you don't have any fancy gear like a mobile osmo you know a, a, a gimbal that holds your phone steady the the point is with action shots it can be a little bit shaky but you're going to focus on keeping your clips shorter and the change of angle will save you from having to endure a long shot that is unpleasant to watch if you chop and change between various shots those little shaky bits don't matter this is why 
a lot of action films use high paced editing. And if you're wanting to know how to improve your high paced editing, it's all about the filming. So we're going over into the next section, the technique. You need to understand that the adventure is way more exciting for the person experiencing it than it is for a viewer. Even the most thrilling activities in the world, like say jumping off a mountain in a squirrel suit, if you just watch the GoPro angle of their head the whole way from the jump to the landing, you'll be bored after the first 30 seconds, regardless of how much adrenaline is pumping through that flying squirrel man's heart and veins. It just doesn't work, or how should I say, it doesn't translate to camera the way we hope and imagine it does. And this is why your editing is going to be very important when it comes to making adventure activity videos. To make your life way easier, keep your clips short. Even when your phone's attached to a bicycle or a boat or a car, roll the camera, get only the few seconds that you need from that angle and then pack it away. Try and get a variety of short clips rather than a couple of long clips. When you get to your editing program, then you can just quickly smash this together. Make sure that you go and test your homemade or bought uh, sort of clamp on devices. You can't always trust these things. You need to make sure that you've, you've put all the necessary safety precautions in place so that your camera or your phone doesn't fly off. We've lost GoPros in the ocean because of not checking exactly that the thing stuck on or that the surface was clear or that the clamp was not tightened. I've got a crack on my cell phone from not having tightened it on my head clamp once. These things happen. So before you go off and go balls to the walls, make sure that you know your, your attachment gear and how safe it really is. And I wanna leave you with one more very important thing plan your shots plan your shots plan your shots make a list of 10 shots that you want and end it there once you've got those shots pack your phone away and enjoy yourself you're here to experience something yes you want to capture it yes you want your people your audience to follow your adventure but make sure that you get the shots and pack it away and enjoy yourself. It is the most vital part of filming an adventure activity is that you keep the adventure as the priority of the day. Here's another thing to remember, extra little bonus tip. Don't forget your sun cream, your shades, your hat, and stay hydrated.